All right, this is Jason and Kate from TechCrunch. And we are doing a little bit of a walkthrough through, uh, this is the Motorola Zoom, which is gonna be launching probably in about a month or so with Android Honeycomb on it. So, part of the, uh, the OS, and it'll look something like this. They haven't uh, determined the default widget set, and the manufacturer will probably actually determine that. But, let's get in here, you've got your browser, which is Chrome. And for the most part, it seems to be pretty solid. Um, it's got incognito mode. You can sync it with your desktop Chrome browser. Let's see how the scrolling goes. So it looks like scrolling is pretty fluid. You don't have too much lag here. So jump between tabs, which is very nice. Add a new tab. Here we've got the settings button. Now this is one of the interesting parts of the OS. They've got this action bar at the top, uh, which the developer actually gets to determine what goes up here. So obviously you've got the tabs over here, and then in the upper right hand corner is the settings button, uh, which is probably gonna be the, the convention to put it in the upper right hand corner, but the developer doesn't have to necessarily. Uh, so then you hit the settings button, you've got you know, new tab and so on. Uh, here's the settings menu. Um, so you know this is one of the interesting labs they've got in the browser. Uh, it's called Quick Controls, and you can you slide your finger off the side, and then you can access a bunch of nav options. So now you can just jump to the bookmarks, maybe refresh the page, and so on. All right, so to head back to the home screen, we're going to hit the, this is a home button, it looks sort of like an up arrow. Now, uh, all right, so the widgets are something that we've seen a lot of, but I guess I'll, I'll just throw one on here so everyone who hasn't seen that can see. All right, so for example, if you wanted to have uh, your collection of books showing up on your desktop, pull down on that, drag it to whichever desktop you want, and you can just place it like that. It's pretty nice. We can flick through these. Now, one of the other interesting things is a, it's a new app called Movie Studio that Google developed. I actually already took a video starring, this is sort of meta, you're watching me as I record myself. But some of the cool stuff you can see is uh, you can flick through this and add transitions. So I, I put adventure as a title, this is a test, don't ask why, because I'm not entirely sure. Uh, if you want to, you, to access those transitions, you pull down on the film clip, and up, upper right hand corner, you see a bunch of options, or oops, the options up here for, for setting things up. Uh, so this looks pretty nice. It's not, the UI is gonna take some getting used to. I'm not sure if someone, this is actually the zoom for uh, how close you want the, the clip to, to be in the timeline. Uh, I don't know how intuitive this would be to pick up initially, but it seems fairly powerful. Uh, some of the things that are new, uh, the music app, they've redone the UI, so this is, you've got a scrolling view, sort of like a cover flow. Uh, all the albums listen to. Notice it actually is pretty fluid. So, what are the uh, so it's using the, the device's hardware acceleration. Uh, Tap one of these. So the exact applications I picked like Gotta Have Gospel 7. God in me. Wow. It's kind of funny. Alright, so heading back to the, the main screen. Access the applications. You get the app button in the upper right. What app C. They've redone some of the icons here. The calendar, it's got a kind of a cool robotic icon. You scroll through it. Uh, Gmail is probably my favorite part. This is something that we've seen before. You can just be really productive with this. You can drag and drop messages. Say, like, I want to throw this into trash or personal. Let's do that right there. You can tap a few things, change the labels. It's pretty well done. All right, uh, so the next one is Android Market, and this is, I'm actually not a fan of this at all. <laughs> uh, this is the UI for the tablet version of Market. 
and you can see when you tap something, you've got screenshots, description, reviews, related apps. It's all pretty standard. I'm not a big fan of. I don't know what this is. It's kind of not that slick, but I have voiced my complaints to the Android team, so they'll probably ignore it. We'll see. Uh, so I think that does it for, for this initial uh, walkthrough of, of what this can do, and make sure to read the rest of the post for my impressions on, on how well it all works.